Hey everybody, it's Cliff in 4 ccb It has been a minute. I haven't made a video in a long time, but hey, guess what? It's 2024. I'm going to make more videos and I've been busy working and some traveling and other hobbies, but uh, I've been active with ham radio the entire time I've been gone and I've uh, been doing QRP, of course. So uh, let's make a video. So what I want to talk about tonight is something that some of you are not going to want to hear. Now, unless you're a QRP nerd, you're not going to want to hear what I'm about to tell you. I've said this before. Some people in the comments have not believed me, but tonight I've got proof. And that is you have to quadruple your transmitted power in order to register one additional S unit on the other, on the receiving end. Quadruple your power to give, gives you one S unit. Okay. So I'm going to show you that. And then I'm going to talk about why that's significant. Uh, the way I'm going to do this is uh, I've got my KX2 and a dummy load connected to it. I've put it near a radio. Even though I'm transmitting into a dummy load, the radio nearby still picks up the signal, right? So uh, I've determined that if I set the KX2 at 0.3 watts, that registers S7 on my flex radio. So um, I can use that as a basis uh, to quadruple my power to 1.2 watts, that's going to give you S8. Quadruple that again, 1.2 times 4 is 4.8, and setting the radio to 4.8 watts will show you S9 on the flex radio. So, undeniable, undisputed, scientific proof that quadrupling your output only gets you one S unit on the other end, okay? And one S unit is hardly even audible, right? You can't hardly tell the difference. If somebody's talking and their signal's going up and down by uh, an S unit or even sometimes two S units is not a big difference. Okay. All right. Let's roll that demo. Okay. Let's run this experiment. So I've got my KX2 right here. I've got, um, well, the flex radio is back there, but here's the computer running the software for it. And I'm recording the screen on that. So I don't have to use the camera to show you the screen. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to adjust the power to 0.3 watts okay now I'm gonna hold this button down to tune now we're transmitting into our dummy load here and on the screen you'll see that we're at s7 okay I'll zoom that in for you it's out of focus here but anyway all right so that's that s7 at 0.3 watts I'm gonna choose power again and 4 times 0.3 is 1.2 okay I'm going to hit transmit. There we go. There's 1.2 watts. And you can see on the screen, the meter is showing 8 S units. Okay, great. We'll stop here. 1.2 times 4 is 4.8. So let's change this to 4.8. And you should see S9 here when I push transmit right now. Okay, 4.8. And sure enough, the screen shows S9. How about that? Interesting, right? All right, why is that significant? Well, it's because it works in reverse as well. So if you cut your power by a factor of four, you're only going to be one S unit weaker on the receiving side. If you cut your radio power by four again, you're going to be two S units down from where you were. And you've cut your power down by a factor of eight at this point, okay? That's why QRP works. You can transmit at 100 watts, maybe your S9 for the receiving station, cut that to 25 watts, your S8, cut that to six watts, let's say, five watts, close enough, you're gonna be S7. So um, that's why QRP is fun and awesome, but not quite magic, because the science uh, is right there to show why it works. So um, there you have it. Uh, I know this is a little controversial, some of you are going to be like, yeah, but, yeah, but Cliff, but, but what? If you transmit a stronger signal, your signal will be stronger, right? If you transmit more power, you're going to have a stronger signal. There's no denying that. Of course, that's right. So if you have an amplifier and you send out 1500 watts, your signal is going to be stronger to the receiving station than if you're transmitting 100 watts. But only two S units stronger. Oh, I know some of you don't believe that, but that's true. 100 watts to 400 watts gets you one S unit. 400 watts to 1600 watts gives you another S unit. 
Fifteen hundred though is the is the legal limit here in the U.S. So you're only going to get two S units extra if you go from 100 watts to 1500 watts. You can still buy an amp if you want to. I don't care. Sometimes that two S units uh, is going to make the difference between making the contact and not. So go for it. I just happen to like QRP, and if I can't reach them with five watts, I'll maybe try 100 watts. If I can't get them 100 watts, uh, it wasn't meant to be. That's how I like to play. So. Uh, I guess that's about it for this one. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, leave me some comments, but be gentle uh, as always because life's too short, not for QRP, but life's too short for trolls in YouTube video comments. All right, see you later.